That happened. Ari Hyatt is here in the studio with a remarkable story of these two men that you will only see on WPBF 25. Ari? Yeah, Todd, Joseph Francesi tells me he was so convinced he was going to die, he started listening to the wind. He wanted to appreciate the world one last time. He never expected that complete stranger to come along and save his life. Okay, there you go. You're a good girl. It's something Joseph Francesi really appreciates, time with his pet marmoset, Lola. These days, he's enjoying that time even more. Frankly, he's enjoying everything a little more because a week ago, Joseph almost died. I thought it was my last day on Earth with nobody around. I thought I was done. It was in the parking lot in front of his apartment building in Lake Worth. I was on my way to work and um, the world starts spinning. So he turned around to head home, a trip he doesn't remember. The car was like in here. But Joseph couldn't move. I was having heart palpitations, uh, tunnel vision, you know, shaking uncontrollably. Joseph thought he was dying, thought he would never again see his wife Valerie. But that is when Mario Yaramillo pulled up. I'm happy for the help of somebody. Mario was delivering packages for Federal Express. He saw Joseph struggling, called 911, and let Joseph know he wasn't alone. The next thing you know, somebody's holding me up, holding my hand, telling me to breathe. And I look up, and there's Mario. I moved the hand, I told the guy, thank you, Alicia, I am here. And Mario stayed there until the paramedics arrived. When you're in a situation like that, and nobody's around, and all of a sudden, somebody's holding you up, talking you, breathing. It's a good feeling. There's good people out there. The world needs more Marios. The next day, Mario came back just to check in. Joseph posted a picture on social media to say thank you to his hero. I was glad to see him. Definitely glad to see him. I gave him a big hug. I told him I have a new brother. The guy looked at me. He said, oh, thank you, Mario. He said, no, nah, it's not thank you. You okay? Are you okay? You happy? I am happy. Joseph tells me his condition right now remains undiagnosed. Doctors are still not sure what happened to him. As for Mario, he tells me he's not a hero. He's not an angel. He says he's just a guy who is in the right place at the right time. Mario, I respectfully disagree. Todd. And I second that. Mario, you're a hero.